Like Club, pull up a seat. Minecraft Guide, episode number 94. We're at the top of the temple now. It's a good day. Check out the shulker box right here. It's brand new, and by brand new, I mean it's old. I re-dyed it. I'm kind of low on shulker shells, okay? More importantly, however, right now, check out the inside. Absolutely, impeccably empty. Loneliness. Let's just say, by the end of the episode, the shulker box will be loaded with lapis, redstone, iron, coal, even gold. I hate to say it, diamonds, maybe even, probably not. Netherite. I asked if you guys wanted to see it. The answer was yes. I have to do it anyways. Today's episode, caving episode. Yeah, so it's bad, but it's true. I haven't been down into the mines in like 20 episodes at least in this world. I haven't done like any caving in like forever. And a couple episodes ago, we actually found a bunch of brand new caves. While building our gigantic temple, we found a bunch of caves. The caves all look pretty dark. I'm pretty sure that I've never been inside of any of these caves. Today, the plan is to go down into these caves light them all up hopefully find a bunch of diamonds and maybe find that one thing too yeah so at this point it's like a tragedy it is basically the worst thing to have ever happened yeah like you know that really bad thing that happened yeah yeah this thing it's like three times worse than that it's a tragedy or something like that. It's episode 94, basically my longest series ever at this point, and skeleton spawners, they don't exist. They're not here. It's bad. It is really, really tragic. Today, I have to be honest, based off of our track record, we will most likely not find a skeleton spawner, but if I could find one, that would be amazing, and at the least, I'll get a bunch of caves lit up. I'll get a bunch more resources like diamonds. I'd like to make more tools, buff our tools up. So caving episode is the name of the game today, but today's caving episode isn't your average normal caving episode we're gonna do things a little bit different it's episode 94 I, I can't even pretend that there will be a challenge in this caving trip it will most likely go insanely well very very easy i wouldn't even be able to create a dramatic interesting situation if i tried so today we're gonna switch it up with a gigantic time lapse i like questions and you guys always have them i ask you guys for only your spiciest questions before the episode and that's exactly what i got on my instagram story for today's mining trip only the interesting bits will be live commentary if i find something really really cool and interesting then I'll cut back in and start commentating right now, real time, like I am. For the rest of the episode, questions. Your guys' questions and things that you said to me. That's gonna be really different, but I still hope you guys enjoy today's episode. So, that's the setup. That's the plan. This is the cave right here that I'm gonna cave out. Hopefully, it's a big cave. If it's not, I'll find a different one. Now, here are the questions. Okay, so I lied. I wanted to start by saying a thank you to everybody who took the time to send me a question. I appreciate it. The questions that I'm getting for today's video were from my Instagram story. My Instagram is it is waddles, no spaces. There's a link to it down in the description below. Highly advise that you drop a follow on it. Just past 40k followers. Thank you. Hey, hey there everybody. It's me, your boy. Time Lapsos here. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Question number one. Do I like apple juice? I only like apple juice. Always. I mean, water's great too, but apple juice is the real water. It's amazing. If you didn't know, this is Minecraft. Yeah, like we're playing it. Music is like right below Minecraft for me. Like it's my second biggest thing. I love music. Have a huge record collection. Music is literally everything. I can play instruments. It's cool. What is your least favorite genre of music? Like you listen to it and your ears bleed. Uh, heavy heavy heavier it's not for me i think it's terrifying coffee or energy drinks both both are great coffee's better energy drinks get me feeling insanely chaotic they're both super good my energy levels unhealthily depend on both but coffee takes the win here next question 1.17 cave base 1.17 mountain base which is it Ooh, that's a spicy question. Mountains, they look amazing. If you didn't see that Bedrock beta from the other week, it's so good. Like the mountains look mountainy. They're real, they're actual mountains. It's exciting. And I I've almost never built a base inside of the mountains. However, a cave base, a cave base, like imagine it, the new caves with like deep slate all over the place. And I like never build cave bases. Uh, mountains would probably end up being just like, like a mountain city, which could be cool. But even if it were one big facility, it's like closer to things I've done before. So right now, at this point in time, I'm heavily leaning cave base. I think it would be sweet, like turning the cave even into like a giant city, but maybe like a giant like faculty, like, like a whole thing. And there's like a melon farm room and there's like a, like a pumpkin farm room. And then we have like a carrot farm room and there's just rooms for farms for everything because that's what we do. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think a cave base is probably winning right now, but I'm not like opposed to a mountain base. I have so many questions about my height. Like it's crazy. Like I'm scrolling on my phone right now, like looking at this. 
like 53 plus 530 530 of you probably asked me about my height and today the big height reveal it's here finally 11 foot 3 i saw somebody guess that one and it creeped me out like how did you know that okay i know it's not the most interesting thing in the world like it's not really that interesting at all but uh right here like somewhere in here I heard pandas like we're literally under the panda island right now or something like I literally just heard pandas uh, Right there right there right there. Yeah, there's pandas here. We're under the pandas I saw a couple questions about it, and I might as well give it music update. What have I been listening to lately? It's all Ben Mac Miller lately and that new Drake that new Drake is pretty good out of the three pack What's next is my favorite? I've also kind of been a little more into that indie alternative vibe as well lately. Mac DeMarco, Damon Paula. I don't really know the answer to this question, but it kind of cracked me up. Why is Deep Slate cannot be Instamind? I just thought I would put it out there. If you could visit five countries in the world, which ones would you choose? Okay, easy. France, for sure. Italy, also. England, yes. Japan, absolutely. And then South Korea as well. Those countries are the most interesting ones to me. Also Australia, but it seems like IRL hardcore mode. I don't know. Do you reply to DMs? Yes, sometimes. Do you have any hobbies you enjoy outside of Minecraft? So lately, my, my latest obsession has been painting like, like repainting like rooms like like in my house like i just repainted where i record to to white if you follow me on twitter you probably know that but yeah painting it's just so relaxing okay so two things thing number one this thing is getting like absurdly full already like i'm gonna have to throw some of this junk out thing number two though i'm hearing like a ton of skeletons over here and i see gravel and anytime i see gravel i get like highly suspicious like this is the most suspicious thing in the world so i think what we'll do is we'll dig the gravel out and hopefully find more cave or or maybe the big boy maybe maybe just maybe i already have a block of coal like or a stack of blocks of gold this is absurd like this is crazy this is good i use so much coal but but the skeletons do you hear this this is like crazy what's going on here there are so many there are so many skeletons i i can't tell if it's getting louder or not though i think it's getting i i i it literally sounds like the same sound like, like the same amount of volume I mean, maybe they're not down here maybe i should have subtitles on <laughs> They're literally all over the place. They are literally all over the place. Like, not that way. They're literally all over the place. It has to be. It, <gasps> it has to be. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. It leads. Oh, is it? <gasps> okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm all right with this. Okay. Okay. <gasps> I can't even. I don't even know what to. I don't even. Just... It's done. It's done. It's done. It's real. <laughs> skeleton spotter. Oh, we have a skeleton spotter. We have a skeleton spotter. It's done. It's done. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I had a feeling. There were so many skeletons. I definitely shouldn't be in this room, though. Definitely not. If there's a creeper over here, it would be done. What is this? Is this a literal skeleton spotter isolated? This is a literal skeleton spotter isolated. I was never even meant to find this thing. You're, this is rigged. This world is great, it's amazing, but it's the worst thing to happen to me at the same time. I was never even meant to find this thing you're telling me. Really? Well, we simply cannot be stopped. You already know what we have to do. We have to make a staircase to the surface right now to see where this thing is. It looks like it's gonna be at least a little bit deep under the ground. A Little bit of a bummer there, but dirt already, it, it's not the deepest. It could be deeper, middle of the night. Of course it would be the plains biome, so, oh. Okay, so we're like literally on the edge of the jungle. I see torches. Oh, that's the monorail over there. Okay, okay, okay. This is the best day ever. This is literally the best day of my life. We have a skeleton spawner. We have a skeleton spawner. I, don't, I literally don't think the reality has even hit me yet. What just happened? This is the biggest moment of the entire series. We have a skeleton spawner. This is crazy. Oh, check this too. Curse of binding. Curse of binding. That's amazing. Okay, so I have to be honest, after that one, I don't even want to cave anymore, but we're gonna go ahead and keep pulling through, because there are so many caves to be mined out and, and lit up still, but I don't even want to cave anymore. I, I just don't. I've lost all interest in it. I can't stop thinking about skeletons now. This is probably unhealthy. Not good. Um, okay, I said I was 
back to the the time lapse but i literally just found creeper city here apparently uh can we get one music disc like one music oh one music disc it's over it's over for you you're done you've served your purpose wait that's what we got Waddles, can you please make more exploration episodes? Yeah, so exploration episodes. I feel like I've mentioned it maybe before, but I'll mention it again. I, I love exploration episodes, and they're actually maybe my favorite episodes to make, other than, like, really cool farm episodes. I love those ones. But I just always feel like... I don't know, like, do you guys want to see exploration still? Like, I'm totally down to do it. I'll, I'll get my elytra out right now, and, and I'll stop mining, and I'll fly, like, for sure. But, like, I just never know, like... Do you guys want to see that? Like, do you want to see me just fly around the world more? E even though it's like episode 90, whatever it is. Because if you do, I'll do it and I'll make like maps and, and just look at things. But I just never know. Like, I always feel like you guys are going to be like, that's boring. Like, like I don't want to see that episode. And even with like this episode here, like, I'm pretty nervous about it. Like, I hope you guys like it. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I always say it. But yeah, I'll make more if, if you guys want to see more. Totally. Because exploring is so fun. And... I really can't wait for 1.17 because with the new mountains, the new biomes, I feel like it's going to be all fresh and new again. It's going to be really exciting. Have you ever cheated on a test? If so, what was it about? Yeah, so actually, well, probably at some point, but generally speaking, no. I, I was that person, the kid who was like terrified of cheating because then I would get caught and then I would get called out and then all of the attention, like everybody would turn and look. That concept like scared me terrified me like terrible worst thing in the world so out of fear no i did figure out how to save info in my calculator though just saying do you ever miss playing old bases and seeds yes 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 a million times yes there's an old world that i used to play on and I miss it a lot. Like, it was a really nice world. It wasn't a guide world. In fact, I don't even know if I made videos in it. But I loved the world. And I was, like, really far in it. And one day I abandoned it just because I wanted to make a new world. Sometimes I miss old worlds. And then it gets sad. Sad hours. Do it. I dare you. Do it. Do it. Come on, chicken. I bet you won't. I bet you won't. I bet you won't. I bet you will. Will the combat update be coming at 1.17 as well? Like with a sack of potions, the, the weapon reach, all of that really, really cool stuff. So uh, I'm not sure, but it doesn't seem like it. Like I would be insanely surprised to see those combat features coming into 1.17 because 1.17 still needs a lot of work. As of the recording of this video, archaeology is still not a thing. Big mountains on Java, still not a thing. Goats and the goat horn, what does that thing actually do? The warden, the deep dark, there's just so much that still isn't in the update. And with the targeted release date of the summer, I, I don't know, I, I feel like all of the combat stuff, even though it's already been in development, would be like absurdly crazy in this update. I think about it sometimes, but I feel like there's a certain point with a Minecraft update where it starts to almost get too big. I wouldn't say that the caves and cliffs update is too big, definitely not. But there's 100% a reason why updates are, I, I guess, a certain size. <laughs> That's a really bad way to put it. But like the developers, you know, could infinitely develop a bunch of features, save them for like three years and then put them out in a gigantic update. But if they did it, it would be confusing and difficult to comprehend and, and take in. So honestly, I, I don't think the combat changes are coming in this update. And I hope they aren't. They should be in a different update. Is Big Chungus humongous? Oh my gosh, how did I forget about Big Chungus? Like, is this even the same timeline? Big Chungus, do you have a cat? I have two cats, it's time for a cat update. Franklin is crazy. Franklin is the first cat that I had. Franklin is absurd. I, I, he climbs curtains, he's wild, he sprints, he makes weird noises. Franklin is a character. Then there's Cash. Cash is adorable, the sweetest thing in the world, an absolute derp. Cash can't jump, very well at least, and is just an overall derp. He lays around, purrs, sleeps, and that's it. Where, where do you, you live? live? I live right here, of course. What do you mean where do I live? Right here. Do you wear your pockets inside out? What? <laughs> what? Will you ever join an SMP or do you want to just focus on your guide world? So I'm a huge single player player. I, I like single player. It's less stressful. I get to do my thing, but I'm always open to a server. Like servers are cool too. Would you rather be eternally cold or hot? 
To be honest, I would rather be eternally hot. Shorts gang, where you at? What's your favorite type of dog breed? Easy, Felix. Bernie's Mountain Dog is my favorite. But Felix is hilarious, so like, he's this big dog, like he's 90 pounds now, or, or about, he's big. Less than a year old still, but 90 pounds, big, very cool, deep bark, but the biggest chicken. Like, dude, like, dude, what? Oh snap, oh snap, big moment, big moment, big moment. The first diamonds of today, the first diamonds, the very first ones right there, is a huge moment. So, here's how it's gonna go. Water right there, mine the redstone, clear that stuff out. That too, Diamond City. Finally, it's taken so long, but finally. And Bedrock too. Your zodiac sign, Capricorn. It's always been Capricorn with that moon in Gemini. You're getting sick of your nine guide episode intro. You know, I've had that other intro for like a long time, like a long, long time. Like I made that myself and I love the song. And it, it's a nice intro, but I have had it for so long. But I'm not very good at animation. Eh, I like it still though, don't get me wrong. This question had me in deep thought for like a while. Uh, underrated Minecraft mechanic. That's an amazing question. That's a really good question. A couple things came to my mind. The first thing, pandas. I think pandas are like crazy complex. They're very interesting with a genetic mutation and everything. Maybe though, that makes them too complex and, and, it, and it almost makes them underrated. But to be clear, I would love to see more genetic mutation stuff in the game. I don't understand it very well, but it's so cool. Another thing that I thought of is maybe rails? I mean, functionally, they don't really live up to what they are, so maybe that defeats the purpose of underrated, but I, I feel like rails have a lot of potential. Yeah, I, I guess it's not underrated. They just need work. Two more underrated features. Feature number one, the conduit. The conduit is like crazy, crazy useful. Sure, it only works in the water, but I feel like it's really underrated. They're also not that hard to get. Uh, underrated feature number two, two things, crossbows and tridents. I think they're kind of limited by their enchantments, but they're really good. They're really, really, really good. Slept on all the time. My take on retextured doors, love it. I think it's a really good idea. Another thing that I saw, a lot of questions asking if I'm like an alien or a robot, so, yeah, thanks guys, <laughs> thanks. How do you not go crazy when clearing land for large projects? So there's an assumption in that question that I don't go crazy. I do go crazy, like for the temple project, the hardest part about it was being patient and, and digging land. I, it's fun, but then it gets really tiring, like insanely, insanely boring at, at the end or really like midway through. And I start to get antsy and the biggest tip that I have, if you're doing like a big project and you have to clear out like a lot of land or something like that is to take breaks. Like it, I can't, I, I literally cannot do it all the way without taking a break somewhere in there and like getting coffee or like having lunch or like just something, anything, I, I, it drives me crazy too. And then finally, so many questions about a space reveal. I'm not too sure what you mean by a space reveal. Like, look out your window, it's in the sky. Well, elites, that is going to do it for the caving trip today. I got a lot done. I have to admit, I don't think every single cave is lit up, but so many more caves are lit up. I came up onto the surface in a couple different spots. Once was over there somewhere, and then another one was like really far over that way. So I know that we were generally in like this gigantic area, and then the best day ever, the best thing ever. Somewhere over there is that skeleton spawner. Amazing. I still can't even believe that that happened. It was hard to cave after finding it. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Like, seriously, I'm so excited about that farm soon. But what did we get today? Right here. Check it out. 28 diamonds total. I wish it were more, but it's okay. I will settle. Now, I actually ended up running out of space inside of the shelter box. I tried to keep some of this stuff, some of the mob drops, but I did definitely have to throw a lot of the stuff on the ground. Gravel. I was trying to dig out a lot of the stuff because after that skeleton spawner experience, you never know. Tons and tons of iron and so much coal. It's seriously crazy. What do you think about today's episode? Let me know down in the comments below. Would you like to see this done again in the future? Because I definitely could. There are still even more caves down below the ground that need to be gone. Thanks for watching though, everybody. Thank you all for the questions again. Big shout out to my patrons, Violet Pirate and Dark Panther 7 today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Go have a good day.
Goodbye, everybody.